Hey everyone, in this video we're going to create some questions and pages. To get started, go to the Questions tab while editing your quiz or survey. The first thing we need to do is create our first page. Now from here, we'll create our first question. You can select your question type, we'll use multiple choice. You can type in your question, you can add the answers you need. In this case, we'll say maybe true and false. You can then, if you're using the point system, you can award one of these points. Or, if you are using the correct, incorrect system, you can mark one of these as correct. If you're going to display the information of why this answer is correct, you could enter some text here. If you want to display a hint, you could type in some text here. If you want to have a text field so a user can leave a comment on this question, you can use that using this setting. If you want this to be required that the user answers this question, you can mark it as required. If you're using categories, you can add a category. So maybe if this was in the category of math, we would type in math. So let's go ahead and create our first question here. Now we can see there's our question in the category. We can edit this question if we wanted to edit this. We can duplicate this question. So maybe we wanted another one. So second. I'll keep everything the same. So we'll save. So we'll have our two questions. And then maybe we can delete it. And then from there we can have create additional pages and then we can drag our questions between those pages if we need to and then delete our pages and then we can also reorder our pages and then lastly if you have questions or um, other fields from other quizzes or surveys you can click the from question bank and you can find some questions from your other quizzes or surveys if you have lots of questions, you can use the search over here. So in this case, we're going to search for our, our question. Right now, we only have one, so it's still going to be there. But if you had lots of them, it would only show the question you're searching for. Lastly, be sure to save your questions. And then your quiz or survey is ready to go.